Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on! <laughs> I got what did you I mean? <laughs> you Tommy? Come on, there's yeah. gas in your Boss is waiting back. for you. Thanks. Let's get to work. Presume we're not going to be driving old ladies to church anymore. I also feel like sorry I'm late. We might like want to be doing that. That's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Pretty much guaranteed oh, we're gonna be breaking legs say then. You got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Okay. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. <laughs> and I'll happily listen. the guy hey i saw this and i thought of you oh yeah what about that makes you think of me you ever carried a rat shot him at the fair a couple of times <laughs> right that don't count pointed at the target over there easy Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay. Now shoot. Not at me, you moron. <laughs> so, I'm, okay. So we're on the same team I here. Open the chamber and away you go. All right. Last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. That's the easy one. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Vinny. <laughs> All right, Vinny. See you later. I hope he's the only one that's like, hey! We, he can just immortalize that. Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. Ah, Who's Biff? To him. He's got at least five garages this side of town. He's not wrong, Polly. You guys know it like I know. It's always the same. Morello does this, so Salieri does that. Some cars here, some booze there. Just calm down for a few weeks, then it all happens again. World keeps turning. Well, it's been a month. A month's made of weeks. Quit whining. <laughs> That's all. A month's made of weeks. Pretty wise. One year since the crash. The worst panic in Wall Street's peacetime history was one year ago today and still no escape from the wider economic depression that has followed it. Unemployment reached 8% this month, but given the prevailing trend of shuttering businesses, banks, and foreclosed farmsteads, some economists warn that this could double, perhaps even triple in the coming years. Special picture feature showing scenes from every state. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, you still hear about the, the Great Depression today. Like, wild. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And an afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. 
Man, if anything happens to Ralphie, I'm saying it right now. I'm not going to be cool with that. Okay, it's caught. You got it. Have a good Look at this beaut. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. <laughs> That's too bad. Okay. Let's see how much trouble we can get into. I mean, avoid cleanly. Just throw on the limiter? Yes. But we're going to bypass these guys if we can. So far, the cops have been, oh boy, <laughs> pretty lenient. We'll see how long that lasts for, holy. It's kind of wild, like sharing the roads with all the cable cars and stuff. There's still certain places that have this obviously, but this was the norm. Unreal. Heading towards Chinatown. This one's basically our neighbor. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Yeah, you got it. Teach me everything. Oh, don't, don't worry. Oh, I was going to get the door for you. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money. I got it uh, waiting in the back room. Oh, Tommy, I'll get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Uh oh. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? You gonna get the door or what, Tom? Yeah, I am. I just wanted to read something from Grand Imperial Bank. Dear Mr. Bertarelli, this letter is notification that you're in default of your obligation to make payments on your agreed loan, of course. This amount has been overdue since July 15th, 1930. You've ignored requests to pay this debt. Unless the full amount is received within two weeks, I'll have no choice but to instruct this bank to begin the foreclosure process on your home and business. Please act accordingly. And of course, we're the ones taking the money that he does have for protection. You can see like the manipulation that we have too when we come in and it's just straight up first thing. How's, what's her name? Giuliani, I think he said. Talk about the daughter. Hello. Where's the money? Ron, fetcha. Voici succhiate in sangue. It's on the table, brown envelope. I feel like she may have cursed us. Viet like a gypsy. What? Okay. All right, she freaks me out more than anybody. I got it. I got See it. Let's go. Out. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your mom. Huh? Look at all these carbs. It, it was a real I want. Where to next, boys? Okay, next up, we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom? His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we Jeez. called him. Well, he slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> Yeah, it was hilarious. After that, 
No problems at all. Maybe oh, weird. Can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Yeah, it's very strange what can happen when you bash someone's head into a counter. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. Oh my God! Like, look at the. This is, yeah, straight up like Chinatown. Unbelievable. So many little details. That coppers, boys, eyes down. Look at us obeying the law. I would love for the ability to to like this put on it. my blinkers and signal. That would be next level. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Uh, I'll just stay here, I guess. He's doing the store on his own. Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own, she got to let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. I'm fine. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. That's not great. Oh no, dude. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. So he's got a bit of a rage issue. I like how nobody does anything either. That's the power that we hold. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Hey, it looks clean. I assume Time you got what you needed. Show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. That Eugene's that nephew's that guy's that money that is that ours that next that week that with that some that extra that besides. That he doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop coming? Yeah, that's seeing some more blood. How much blood? <laughs> and nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. Now, I don't know if this cop is going to do anything, but I want to find out. Hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. Nice. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all. I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Tim, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. I think that was your breath. <laughs> When little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. It's cool to see how we are immediately getting so much better Jesus. along with these guys. I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Oh. Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Really? Far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Well, we know Morello gets his boat rocked at some point. Anyone else? 
still starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks. You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. But well, happy to oblige. <laughs> Moving up from bitch work to who knows what. But we definitely are showing initiative. I like that. Okay. There it is. Finally. Clark's Motel. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. This is probably pretty common having uh, like fuel pumps your motel okay of course Tom. whoa Tom, I, I took what jesus christ Polly. tell salieri from here on out this place is ours capiche what Don't come back or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends get fail they're trying to beat information out of I gotta get you to a doctor. Ah, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. I wonder who that guy's with. Find a way into the motel. I'm not gonna walk in that door. Oh, oh, we got one up top, too. Oh, is this ammo? Hello. Oh, I can just barely see him. Okay. I saw where he went. Ooh. And sleep. <laughs> Good night. Let's put him to bed. Yeah, that's close. That'll do. Swap for semi-auto pistol. Oh, the other guy just gave us this gun. Or pocket revolver. We have more ammo here. Is a little X the body? Must be. Oh, Jesus. Are you kidding? I caught him shit. Whoa, dude. Well, that was a pretty quick reaction. Whoa, this is bad. They shot first. Where they at? Hoo -hoo -hoo, we are on right now. Oh, 
How many are there? Roberto Galati for City Council. <laughs> Trusted figure in Last Heaven, owner of boatyards and industry, employer to thousands, friend of the city, dutiful father and husband. My God. Left alt orbit cover. Oh, cool. Wow, these guys. We oh, there we go. We can like switch using the numbers. Well, our shots are on point for now. Sam, oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Uh, come on, you'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. We're we going on foot? Where is Sam? No. Nope. He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money. We'll be back. Oh my god. There's got to be a better way. Oh, what's this? Looks like we have unlimited ammo. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa. This is not a very smart decision to run from me. Let's go, big boy. If this thing could go faster than 50 kilometers an hour or miles, I would be happy. I gotta be careful here. Whoa. Oh! Oh my god! A little aggressive. Don't worry, I'll catch in about 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm trying. It's as fast as this thing goes. Wow. Hey, we're coming in hot right now. A little worried about our health. This is incredible. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. <laughs> yeah. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. That power is so easy. It consumes you. Consumes you. That's awesome. Okay. So I'm going to try to figure out the best lengths to make these and if they do chapters like this where it's kind of like that 25 30 minute range i think that would be perfect so uh i'll wrap it up here for today hope you guys are having fun i'm learning a few things i'm having a good time hope you guys are enjoying we'll see you in the next one bye for now